Hello, my friends. My name is Unky, and welcome back to another episode of Crying Babies at Sandrock. Oh my gosh, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Have a bottle. There you go. I know the little one. You're okay. Oh my gosh, what a mess. Oh, she's got that one. Okay, cool. I, well, let's see. Hey, little one. Would you like a present? What do we have? What do we have? I have two of these. This might be really fancy. I don't know that a kid really cares about that. Uh, I gave him a toy. Let's try this. <laughs> Loved it. Little baby Vulcan on. Okay, pick up. Grab the babies. We are good parents. Okay, we just got a quest. I have no idea what that quest is. Let's take a look. Um, wait for opening day. In three days, Mini Botanica will open. That's very exciting. Sandrock's next top model. At 1900 p.m., Sandrock's first ever fashion show will take place. Go check it out in front of City Hall. Absolutely super exciting. I cannot wait. Okay, and then we have one commission. We got to go give Jensen some rare steel bars. Okay, I believe that they told us that there was gonna be a bunch of new commissions for the upcoming summit. The Big free news. Oh, oh. Let's get over to City Hall. I'll explain more there. Let's go. Did you see uh, Chopper in the background over there chewing up stuff? Okay, what's going on? Hello. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Oh, she is thrilled. What's going You're on? You're here. Welcome. Indeed. This will be our guild's finest hour. <laughs> okay, go on. Grace, uh, and tell them what you told me. Okay, from Grace, our secret agent. With pleasure, Madam Mayor. I must confess, I've been keeping something from you all since I got back. <laughs> so unlike me, right? No, couldn't have couldn't have predicted that for the world. <clears throat> uh, before my retirement. I was fortunate enough to be able to brush shoulders with some of the higher-ups. One conversation led to another, and eventually, the topic of the Alliance's next defense commission came up. Okay, this is interesting. Are we going to build tanks for the Alliance? Long story short, they want Sandrock to yes. build the next Alliance airship. Cool! I wasn't far off. This is even better than a freaking tank. The legendary six star commission. Whoa. <laughs> I don't know why that gave me goosebumps. It's just a video game. Calm down. It's a legendary six star commission. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> That's how I feel right now. <laughs> but wait, an airship? I thought the Alliance usually used Tall Sky and Vega 5 workshops to build their planes and airships. Well, that might be true, but when was the last time Tall Sky and Vega 5 fought off a Duvos invasion with nothing but an air cannon and our freaking forearms? Come on, dude. We are so ready for this. I'm afraid they'll be of no use this time, as this airship will be built like no other. Okay, super cool. Curious why uh, Nia is here. And oh, we haven't seen this guy in a while. Oh, how fun. You see, back during the defense of Sandrock, while the Builder and the Civil Corps were down in the thick of it, I wasn't just up on that Duvo ship playing hide and seek. Ooh, she was stealing tech. Of course she was, that's so cool. I managed to nab a copy of their newest Victor class airship plans. Okay, this is awesome. I really have to say though, I am disappointed. You're disappointed you didn't get your hands on the plans. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I love the animosity between these two. It, it really doesn't make any sense. Other than I think he just totally can't stand her for some reason. You're not impressed? Duvos Engineering is known for its frightening advancements. Frightening indeed. Have you seen swiring designs in the engine room? And granted, some of it is cutting edge, but based on what you told me the other day, Grace, I'd just been hoping it'd be a bit more advanced. Okay, so he's not disappointed in her. He's disappointed because he expected, I don't know, for it to like, you know, warp speed or something. Gee, Director, sorry my stolen secret plans from behind enemy lines aren't good enough for you. Guess you'll just have to design your own airship. Yeah, do it, bruh. Hmm. No, that won't be necessary. I can simply make some adjustments. Your performance has been quite adequate. Thank you, Miss Grace. Oh, so generous of you, Chi. <laughs> welcome. Um, quick question? Yeah, so you all called me here to tell me you want to build a warship? Uh, I mean, well, uh, 
How can I put this? I think there might be a little bit of scripture on almost every page that says we shouldn't do that. So, yeah. Yeah, he does have a point. As the uh, ambassador to religion here, he would like to warn us that this is exactly what brought the Age of Calamity. I think he's just uh, scared to become the next Miguel. That brings me to my next point. I don't want to see a Duvos-inspired warship floating around our fair city either. I've called upon our horticultural specialist to help install this airship with some greenification technology. Okay, this is adorable. So basic, what does this mean by greenification technology? Is it going to like spread biocrust upo upon the land? We're going to make it our own, inside and out. Or is it just aesthetics? Is it just going to be beautiful? Cool. You can count on us, Mayor. I'll bet we could use the weapon tech to just shoot algae and seeds instead. Whoa, okay, brilliant. Have it fly over new planting grounds? Ooh, I like the sound of that. <laughs> All right, now Burgess is on board. We can go 50-50 on the cannons. <laughs> Sounds like we're all on the same page. <laughs> he still wants to kill stuff. <laughs> Let's talk logistics. Director, take it away. Indeed. The first thing we'll need is a couple of the powerful engines from the Starship runes. Obviously not the ones on the Olympia. As they were destroyed. But I seen a few of the other smaller ones on my expeditions there. At the time, I opted against procuring Oops, them sorry about as that. I'm not strong. Such a procurement might easily be accomplished by someone powerful like the Builder though. I'll tell you about it later. Okay, I got totally distracted because I realized that my OBS settings were a little low. At the time, I opted against procuring them as I am not strong. Such a procurement might easily be accompanied by some powerful... Okay, so I missed the previous line. I think I skipped through it. My guess is there's some really cool tech in the Starship Ruins that we have to go get now. Okay, excellent. Once I have the engines in hand, I will spend a short time studying them and the Dufo's design. Where Sleepyhead and myself will make engineering tweaks for them to be modded into a better ship. Okay, so that's where we're getting our engines. Excellent. I forgot to ask, how did you get Mint here on such short notice? Space Case here sent me a telegram saying, Emergency, come, now, without any context. Since I was invited to the summit celebration anyway, I thought I'd come early. Cool. I'd wanted to elaborate more in the telegram, but it would have taken too long to type it out. It was better to explain in person. Besides, I really do need your help. You're the best engineer I know. You should show him our modifications to the Gunga. Um, no worries, everyone. I'm here now. Glad to be of service. Yes, yes, back to the plan. I want to emphasize that an airship is considered the pinnacle of our current scientific and engineering capability. So suffice to say, it'll be a massive undertaking for everyone involved. Okay, well, I'm ready for this. The main components will be the airship itself, the area spray requested by the botanists, and the construction pad. We'll need the construction pad first before the airship can be assembled. How will you like to divide the labor, Commissioner? Okay, this is awesome. We basically have to build a massive construction pad to then build it? Okay. Uh, I think we'll keep feeding the hot hands. Builder will uh, build the airship. Me and can handle the spray. The other builders around Sandrock, myself included, will complete the construction pad first. Yo, of course I'm building the airship. You got it. Just need a diagram. Heidi? On it. Nia? And I suppose Miss Heidi will be designing the pad? Wait, who's this? Oh, no. We already have the airship design. Okay, I gotcha. I gotcha. I gotcha. Already on the drawing board. We've become quite the team, haven't we? We sure have. <laughs> why is everyone like, what? <laughs> why, why, does, why does that garnish a question mark? Well, look at us. One of the biggest projects in the free cities just dropped into our laps, and we're ready to dive right into it. We were born for this. This is our moment right here. I can attest, even in Doll Sky, you'd be hard pressed to assemble a team as capable as this. While we're all here like this, I'd just like to say, I've never been more proud to be a Sandrocker than right now. It's been an honor. You know, I'd like to say I agree. But let's save our celebrations for the party. If we work quickly, the airship will be ready in time to take our guests on its maiden voyage. Sounds doable. Ooh, that would be so cool. I calculate a high probability of success. <laughs> this is an incredible uh, estimate coming from Chi. Think we can do it. 
We can totally do it. I have faith in everyone. Me too. No surprise there, I guess. It'll be the Sandrock Commerce Guild's finest hour. You can't see my face, but I'm cheesing from ear to ear right now. I'd say it's a done deal too, right? It shall be done. We don't plan around this. Uh, well, don't plan around this thing. I kind of had plans this week. We can do it. <laughs> It'd be funny to do another playthrough and just be a, curmud a curmudgeon. Like every, just pick the most negative response every time. All right, then. I think that about settles it. Let's get to it. This is a really cool quest because it is like, okay, the pinnacle of our build building skills. We've like tied up every other like story loose end that was left. I mean, we're doing that today with Pablo's fashion show. We have the mini Botanica opening, right? But this, it's like, okay, now, now we have to build the most. I thought that the roller coaster and Katori's world was gonna be the most epic. No, no, no. We're building a freaking plant spraying war machine. So, about the engines, they're in the Starship Abandoned Ruins. Some are completely buried, so I had no chance of getting them out. I've got a drill for that. Once you have them, bring them to me and sleep yet, and I'll get to work. Thanks. Okay. So, I gotta go get myself some engines. Oh, let's talk to Trudy. She has Hello. a quest. You look well today. Well, thank you. I you look... <laughs> actually came by to ask a, a favor. <laughs> okay. As you're aware, we're planning for the Alliance Summit. I've already gone over the government invitation list, but I was wondering if you wouldn't mind helping me get a headcount for invitations from people around town. Okay. I feel like if I ask everyone, it, it's a little too official. Most folks would be a bit more comfortable if you handled the surveying. I'm the coolest kid. <laughs> I'm the coolest kid in school. Uh, I'll Thank do it. Thank you. And well, I must admit some ulterior motives. I don't believe anyone can resist your charm. Oh, go on. Um, just run around and ask whoever comes to mind. Then check in when you have anything to report. Okay. Okay, so let's see. Is this like, um, everyone's just gonna chat it up over here? Da, da, da. Wait, whoop. why is there a question mark over here? Does that mean that there's like a quest for me to do? Who is this? Oh, that's Nia, okay. The most, un I don't want to read this. Oh, I still have my baby? Oh, I thought my baby went home. Okay, well, this day just got even more exciting. Let's see, where is... Oh, Heidi, look at how fast she's walking. Hey there. Oh, who am I inviting to the party? Go on. Well, I'd be remiss if I didn't send an invite over to Albert and Mint and Portia. They helped us on our way up. We gotta show them where we made it to now. And who knows? They might have ideas for where to go next. This is a great idea. Well, Mint is already in town. These, I wish that this was like, uh, anyways. Staying good with our friends and Portia is a must. They're our close neighbor. And there've got to be tons of ways we can help each other out now that the road is done. Uh, any personal the friends personal to invite? Friends, eh? What about? Yeah, I'd be lying if I said it hadn't crossed my mind. I did want to ask Master Verna to come see what all we've done here. Oh, that's such a good idea. You know why I love that? Because even though that she totally has rebelled about against her master, she still probably has this like need to prove herself a little bit. Hello, Pablo. Nice to see you. Um, and I do think that Master Verna, despite doing the what deconstruction construction, would probably be really impressed with some of the things she's designed, but right? That'd be kind of petty, wouldn't it? I didn't come back here just to prove something to an old teacher. I came here because I knew it was the right thing to do. What if Sverna learns something from you here? Well, it ain't like an old micro pig to learn new tricks. What? But certainly our results here speak for themselves. An old micro pig? <laughs> Is this like the Sandrock way of saying an old dog? <laughs> More than anything, I have a feeling she'll have critique up and firing within 10 minutes of seeing our stuff. Well, maybe, but I mean, what, has she rebuilt an entire city? I don't think so. Ah, to heck with it. Yeah, let's put her on the list. Worst thing she can do is ignore us, or well, show up and make a scene, but I can handle that. I think she's gonna show up and 
be really impressed and proud of everything that you've yeah, done. I'm certain of it. There are a lot of, of things that could go right with this. Master does have major connections in Atara. If she has fun out here, well, who knows? Hmm. Thanks for spitballing with me. Go ahead and put her on the list. Okay. Cool. Okay, well, that's really fun. Let's take a look at the map and make sure that we're not missing anything critical. Citrus Infusion Avenue. Oh, my gosh. Um, this, I believe, is more of the juice. The juice quest okay so our day just got really really crazy didn't it okay we gotta wait for opening day on that that's tonight six star commission what is this okay we we have to go get these whoa what is this primitive yakmel furry top yakmel furry hat hilarious and i have to go talk to all of these people okay well this shouldn't be too hard they're all right here let's not miss it who's over here rvo let's go It's only eight o'clock in the morning. We're gonna have a great day today. Oh, what a pleasant surprise. Have you come to celebrate with me? Actually. Yes, it was just yesterday that by the stairs and the ceramic gate reached a combined profit of 100,000 gold. Holy crap, that's a lot of money. Wait, wasn't Musa like basically giving him a hard time that he wasn't gonna make any money and didn't want to invest in his project and now he's in here raking in the dough. Isn't that amazing? I never really thought we'd make it this far. But, with wonderful friends like you, sure enough, here we are. Uh, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. I've been wearing this smile ever since we crunched the numbers. I'm even smiling in my sleep. And every moment I'm here at the store as well. Which has been good. Customers always appreciate a nice smile coming their way. Oh, that's right. The big summit. Invitations? Wow. I guess I gotten so caught up with the business it all just slipped my mind. Who to invite? Hmm. Well, I'm afraid I can't really think of anyone. Everyone back home is pretty tied up at the moment. Anyone you'd like to thank? Any business partners? Do we know of RVO having any business partners? I feel like both of these are kind of leading the Musa. I think it would be really cool if RVO was the one to invite Musa, right? Maybe as a little bit of a victory lap, because Musa did kind of poo-poo on him, and it gave him a little bit of a crisis, which he's now overcome. Mm, uh, I don't know. Anyone you'd like to thank? Hmm. Does anyone fit that particular description? Oh, how could I forget? We Called should invite it. Mr. Musa. I'm so good at this. I had meant to write him a letter, uh, thank him, tell him how we're doing, but... Um, well... I guess I kept hearing this little voice in my head like, You're small cabbages, Arvio. Musa isn't going to want to hear about any cabbages. Well, you were small cabbages. Now you're like medium-sized cabbages. And I think that being thanking him would be the most mature thing to do because despite the fact that Musa was really, really harsh, I think at the time, I mean, I'd have to go back and watch the video, but I was like, Musa kind of has a point, right? Arvio really thinks small when it comes to his business, and it's often just centered around advertising himself when in the end, like, Nobody knows who this guy is, so why would yourself as marketing make any sense? But now, now he's really killing it. So he could thank him for actually his harsh criticism turning into motivation, which now has allowed him to be successful. But 100,000, that's a pretty big milestone, right? Certainly Sebastian's cabbage money. You want to hear about that, right? Well, I think he would be impressed by the fact that you did what he didn't think you were capable of doing, first of all. And, but second of all, it might actually entice him to want to invest in your business. And then I think what's the next step? Maybe opening more of these stores throughout the free cities, right? I, I think that it would, if he had a conversation, there's like more business venture in hand with the kind of money that Musa has. Yes, if you would, please add Musa's name to the guest list. Of course, he might be busy, but you never know. You never know. Okay, um, let's see. Oh, here's Nia. Oh, hey, I just ran into the mayor. You're going around asking about invites, yeah? Ooh, you're asking me now, too? Hmm. Hmm. Well, I'd invite my folks, but they're in Seaside. Like, what? I mean, I always said they should travel, but I meant Portia or here. 
the moment I leave and they head for Seaside. That's like a thousand leagues the opposite way. Okay, so that wouldn't work. Hey, you should invite your folks. They're yes. kind of like my second pair of parents, so you'd be doing everyone a favor. That's what I've been talking about. Yes, I really miss them. Well, yeah. When's the last time you saw them? You must be homesicker than <laughs> that one wind turbine that blew halfway up to Barnarok. <laughs> you remember when that happened? Uh, yes. <laughs> I have no idea what she's talking about. Yeah. Tell Trudes your rents are going on the list. Oh, and tell your ma to cook those pork chops I like. I know this isn't a potluck. Who cares? Okay, I've never heard anyone call parents your rents. Um, I can't wait to see what my parents look like. What was that? Is that uh, Chopper being all cute? Oh, it's Nemo. Hi, Nemo. Woof. Cute. Pick a name for your pet. Nemo. Did I just adopt this dog? <laughs> I didn't mean to. <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, go, uh, go, go collect some water, Nemo. <laughs> well, I got a dog. I got to build a dog house for the dude. Chopper. Um, that was totally unexpected. Squeak, squeak. Oh my gosh. What a cute face. Um, I did not honestly think that sending him wait what's the lead thing okay hold on i'm getting distracted when i have lots of things to do let's see what's going on over here nia desires something you know what nia as much as i adore you i don't have time okay so the apartments oh who am i gonna ask next Ernest. okay let's go ask Ernest. we're on foot today why not there's pablo oh i cannot wait for his fashion show i guess we'll be going into the starship ruins to get ourselves some engines Look at these beautiful flowers just sparkling away. How wonderful. Um, we do... That may not happen today. It really depends. I want to get back and I want to see what commissions there are. And I want to get started on all this stuff. Okay, so we know Homeboy is in here. Oh, look. He's probably... Look at... Oh, let's put the chainsaw away. We don't need to be a psycho. Every time we'd come in here, do you remember he'd be sitting on the couch and he would look baked out of his mind, right? He'd be right here just like... Ugh, and he's got the munchies. We're bringing him food. Well, look at him now. He's like reading. He's doing all sorts of cool stuff. He is definitely... Uh, invitations for our big sand rock open house or what was it we're calling it? Summit celebration? I feel like as a writer and reporter, you should know this one. Anyway, my point is I think that Ernest has really found himself and he's a part of the town now. Like, I don't think he's going anywhere, right? Well, sure, Sandrock has been an integral part of my career, if nothing else. I'd love to help make this event better in any way I can. I could invite the folks, but this really is developing into more of a meet and greet, businessy type events, isn't it? Do you know anyone in the professional writing world that you could invite? There are my friends at Atara Times, and also all the people who are always writing in to ask how Sandrock is doing. We've got quite a following over there now, in case you didn't know. I'm not surprised by that at all. I've got it! I'll ask my sister to come visit and make an appearance. There's very little I can think of that would garner more attention for our event, other than the leaders meeting, and having the world-renowned Luna on the guest list. Isn't Luna like a huge uh, musician? Isn't she like a super famous, world-famous musician? This is a really cool idea. Maybe I can even convince her to perform. Yes! Well, we have a freaking stage. It's settled then. I'll telegraph her immediately. Please, put her name on the guest list. I love that he, imme he immediately assumes that she will just agree. Okay, well, that's fun. Um, let's go talk to Trudy and turn that one in really quick. I guess my baby has now gone home. Let's see. We should track the right ones. That that little spinning thing drives me nuts. You know what I think it is? I think I'm maybe a little short on RAM. Let's see. Track. I've been talking about how it might be time to upgrade my computer. The two things that I think are bottlenecking. I only have 16 gigs of RAM. And one. And we need to go deep. To the 11th layer of the ruins to be sure. Okay, so we've already been there. Cool. We'll just have to reset it. This is three days from now. Oh, no. Let's, cr let's track this one first. Okay, Trudes. Um, and then I think I could probably go with a better processor. I okay. see. Wow, <laughs> quite the guest list. Do you think they're all really going to show up? 100%. I ended up doing a bit of poking around myself. 
Cooper asked me to find his old jam band he played with in Walnut Grove 20 years ago. <sighs> but the only clue he gave me to contact them was they're married to the sea now. <laughs> That's so weird. <laughs> Jensen asked me to find Dylan, the father of modern trains. But with the caveat that he'd only appear if we make the party a five train minimum. So that's out. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. In any case, glad you had more luck than me. I'll put all these names on the list. Expect your own invite soon as well. Okay. Excellent. Okay, so we did that. Um, call pets. Oh, is this new? What? You can call the pets. Has that always been there? I'll bet you that's always been there and I just never notice it. There he is. Look at Merle. Merling into existence. Whoops. Okay. Here we go. Uh, that's got to be Jensen right there. Let's go turn this in. God, I love green sand rock. It's so beautiful here. Whoa, Merle. He's so fast. Tap, 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 tap. Hey, Jensen. Hello. Hello. Ah, thank you. Let's see what he's got to say here. Mm-hmm. With Sandrock being greener than ever, just think of all the tourists coming in. Riding in the TX350F or a TX370. Someday, if we all work together, we might even get an FR987 to visit. Sigh, a man can dream. A uh, real yeah, foamer for sure. I love that. I love that foamers got love in this game. That brings me so much joy. Okay, um, Mr. Merle, why don't you uh, just stay right here? We'll probably have to jump back on you in a second. Let's gather up whatever's going on over here. Got my ore. Check. Okay, from Pablo, it is it is time. Sandrock's very own fashion show is going to raise its curtains. Thank you for your help. The models in the stage are perfect. You allowed me to focus on my clothes, and now the final display may commence. Tonight and tomorrow night at 1900 p.m., the show will begin. Please do attend. Wouldn't miss it for the world. Tumbleweed standard. Here we go. Quixotic quest for the quintessential quin, quinquennial qualification. Wow. It's official. The next host site for the Quinquennial Free Cities Alliance Summit will be none other than Sand Rock. I probably wouldn't have primed that sentence with so much excitement if it weren't any other city than Sand Rock. How awful would that be? Drum roll, please. It's in Atara. Again, no news. Go back to bed. Anyway, the summit is coming to Sandrock. In addition to the fantastic acknowledgement from the rest of the Alliance, the Sandrock is a hospitable enough place to host the summit. It is going to be a really great time. And it's all coming right to us. This is really cool. During the first day, representatives from all the major city-states will come and discuss Alliance politics behind closed doors in City Hall. I wonder if we'll get to attend that. That sounds cool. Meanwhile, we'll have talks from locals and esteemed guests on some of the most important things we've learned in the past five years. Some notable speakers will include, but not limited to, esteemed business mogul Musa. Okay, so Musa was already coming. The gardener who never said die, Zeke Get the Mole. <laughs> cool. <laughs> I love the idea of Geg the Mole giving a talk <laughs> to all of the most famous and important politicians of the free cities. That's amazing. So clear out your schedules, invite all your friends. The Quinquennial Free Cities Alliance Summit is going to be part the going to be the party everyone will be talking about until, well, at least the next summit. No, we're gonna blow this one out of the water. They're never gonna forget it. Venti is giving me melon moose again. What a dear. Okay, let's go check on some commissions. See what we can get ourselves making. Usually there's some like extra commissions in addition to our normal three. Look at that board, packed. Okay, let's see what we can find. The summit means we're going to need more tables and chairs. Can anyone help out? That's me. Look at that, doesn't take up regular office chairs. That's me. These orders are some up. Um, sugar fried chestnut. I don't know if I can make that. Okay, so let's see a stage support. We may need some additions to our stages to accommodate. Uh, I'll take it. Stage backdrop. Here we go. Holy crap! Crafted pencil holder. Holy crap! Um. Uh, I think I can make that. Oh, I already have it. Easy. Uh, we have not taken any normal um, commissions yet. That's fun. Okay, wait, hold on. Sugar fried chestnut. I really don't know about this one. Let's check our stove really quick. I'm very, very curious. You know, I at some point was going to maybe see if I could add this to the kitchen. Never happened. Okay. Okay. 
We need sugar. We have so many chestnuts. Okay, this is easy. We're gonna do this. Okay, that's a lot of freaking commissions. I don't really feel like I need to take any of these other ones, honestly. Um, I'll take that one just because it's easy. Let's see, these limestone bricks are kind of rare. This one's probably not that hard, right? Iron spear, that's old school. But the acacia wood and the limestone bricks, I'm gonna hold off on. Okay, let's turn our factory into the freaking, look at this, oh crap. Oh crap, we don't have any hardwood sticks. Not good, okay, add to queue, confirm. Let's look at this, add to queue. Okay, so it looks like we have the wood, beautiful. Stage support, beautiful. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Are we gonna be able to do this without a hitch? Stage backdrop, crafted pencil holder, we need four. We're missing pigment. Okay, I think we can make pigment from tailor made by the stairs, not hard at all. There we go. So what do we need? We need three more pigment, let's we'll buy all the pigment that they have. I'm having the time of my life. Here we go. Hello, Magic Mirror. Look at Merle hiding behind the topi area. I see you. I see you. Okay, let's go get some pigment. Hey, look at Hernandez. What are you doing? <laughs> I'll tell all my friends to check out Sandrock. Adorable. Sandrock. God, I love this grass. How much fun is it to run around with all of this beautiful green everywhere? Oh, Mr. Unsure. Here you go. Thank you. You're welcome. We appreciate you. Let's see what he has to say. Hmm. Even moss grows on a rolling stone eventually. Um, is that true? See ya. My bud. We don't even get off our horse now. Oh, hmm. well. Wow, Sandrock looks great. I've seen the old pictures and I dare say we're even looking a little better. Oh, we're charting new territory. Okay, I love yeah. that. Um, By the stairs, there we go. Pigment. Okay, oh, and we need sugar. There we go. Uh, the baby likes toys too. Let's grab a bunch of toys. Cause we're rich. We're so rich. Obviously the toy Gungam. Toy elegant flower box. Yes, please. Okay. Um, before I forget what I was actually here for, wasn't it pigment? There it is. Buy it. And off we go. I'll race you deputy. I'm winning. There's Burgess. Let's leap over him. Oh, cleared him. <laughs> like it was nothing. <laughs> Mr. Merle, please stay right here. Don't go anywhere. Okay, we need how many of these? We'll make all of them. Uh, milk steamed eggs. We'll make all of them. There we go. Okay, that shouldn't take that long. Now, let's see, we need to make some pencil holders. Am I right? Okay, so going, 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 going. Beautiful. There we go. Okay, fantastic. Let's, um, okay, so everything is just ripping. We're doing good right now. All of these are happening. I don't have to worry about any of them. Just double checking. Boo, boo, boo. This one. So we need three engines. I got to get me um, whatever these end up being. I cannot wait. Okay. This happens at 1900. So we have, we have about seven hours. We let's see what we can get our hands on in about seven hours. Let's go. I was just looking to see if we can see X everywhere. Oh no, and there's this citrus infusion quest with Grace. Let's not miss that. I don't want to miss that. Okay, we can get um, engines tomorrow if we have to. Hey, 
Okay, so my custom drinks are a hit. Owen thinks they're great. And long story short, I'm going to open a little booth right out in front of the blue moon. Oh, so cool. Yeah, I'm thinking it'll be a nice way to kind of retire. Just sit behind the juice bar, squeeze fresh fruit into a glass, listen to folk tell me their stories. How much fun does that sound? Can you help me with the booth? I think you just need a few materials and you could pop one up right there by the blue moon. What do you say? Should this, be no trouble for the hero builder of Sandrock. This looks like a job for right. me. I've got a few final things I can get ready, but when you have the materials you need, go ahead and build up the booth outside the blue moon. Roger that. Uh, let's see, what do we need? Well, it says it right there, hardwood planks. Um, we might be short on hardwood planks. No, 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 that's not the quest. Bronze plate, two cast iron pipes. We have plenty of those. That's uh, that's about as easy as it gets. Okay. Um, stay. All my look at this. Wow, collect. Okay, four bronze plates, two cast iron pipes. Oh, I guess I can just do this. These I think will take a little longer because they have to be smelted. I don't need to do anything there. Okay, perfect. That puts us in a really good spot. You know, it's starting to get on in the day and I think that some of these commissions are starting to finish. So I'm wondering if what I should do, whoa, 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 Merle is so fast. Doo, doo, doo. Let's see, can I turn anything in? I think so. Maybe I should just run around and turn stuff into people while we're waiting. Um, so that I, I mean, if I run over, here's the deal. If I go here and then I fly all the way over here and then I go in there, it's going to be so late by that point. We're really not going to have a lot to do. Hey, while I'm home, I'm sorry. I know I'm a little scatterbrained, but, um, let's check on our babies. This is something we don't do nearly enough. Hello. Hello, little baby. Are you good? Huh? Yes, you're good. Huh? <laughs> Wagyu. Huh? So cute. What a little bundle of joy. Where's the other one? In the factory. No surprise there. Dun, dun. The other thing that we could do. Do you remember how I talked about how this being off by one drove me nuts. We could try and fix this now. Now this could actually lead to total disaster. Um, but, okay, so I guess we have to expand this side. Let's do this, destroy. Fortunately, there isn't, let's see. Here's how we know we can make sure, look at that. So we, we just need to expand it by one. So here's what we can do. Oh, that's nice. What in the world is going on? It's never easy, is it? 
I guess it's a good thing, but it also is kind of a bummer that this doesn't speed up. This doesn't happen in real time because I am just trying to kill time here. Okay, there we go. Um, you know, it would look nice if we put some windows on the outside of this or at least some plants. Is that too many plants? It's a lot of freaking plants. I don't know. The kids are going to be big enough that they're going to need their own rooms really soon. Nothing freaks me out more than this. I'm really glad that I got to play um, raise a child simulator and not actually raise a child. That sounds exhausting. Okay, now this should theoretically. So we're gonna have to move some stuff around. Is it still not centered? Why? Why? Why do you do this? In 10, 11. Well, part of the problem is this room isn't uh, even. So why don't we do this? Can we? This needs to be shorter. You know what it might actually make more sense is to shrink this room by two. No, that looks too small, doesn't it? Yeah, I hate that. Ugh, this is like forever my nightmare. Oh, it's not connected. It needs to go one more in. But then the front door isn't centered. That's just the worst. There must be at least one available door. Okay, so there. What about this double door? Hold on. Elegant front door and window. Here we go. Kind of hate the way it looks, but if it's centered, I'll be okay with it. It's centered. Okay. Now the moon isn't centered. Boo. This might actually look nice. Is that centered? It's a really small door. Okay, I'll take it. I don't want to fart around with this all that much longer. Let's grab this, move all. Let's stick this back on. Right there is probably where it's supposed to go. There we go. Oh, and I guess I guess we could use a roof, right? It'd be nice to have a roof. Let's take a look. Cool. I wish we could put something right here. Wouldn't that be nice? You can't put anything on the sides of the roofs. Wait. No, I guess not. Okay, how much of a disaster was that? Let's see. Oh, that messed up one of our closets. Okay, we'll acquire. Holy crap. I think that messed up all of our closets. Not good. Oh, I actually like this front door now that I look at it. Okay, it just messed up two of them. This room has gotten very, very big. Um, it feels a little strange. Oh, wait, we, I think we can fit three in here. Didn't we do that before? Oops. Let's put that one in the middle, and I think we've got one more. There we go. Oh, gosh, I do not remember how anything was organized in here. Confirm. Okay, I remember that all the fancy outfits were in the same one. I feel like those should go in the fancy. Uh-oh. Oh my gosh, every time. Okay, I can't worry about that right now. I have a child that's crying. What's the... Oh, did you poopy? Did you poopy? Did you make a big boom boom? There you go. I know. It's okay. What about this one? Oh, you both boom boomed. My boom boomers. Good job. Good job. Uh, Come here, sweets. Come help me organize. Okay, this is a mess. Oh, uh, we can't organize when we don't... When we're out. Uh, I guess we can't can't decorate while we're holding our baby. These are the little things that I think they should have thought about. Okay, this door frame sucks. Way better. Oops, not, not didn't want to mess with that. You know what? I have this thing and I've had it forever. It's lame that it goes on the floor. I mean, is there like a table it could go on? Oh, awesome. This should go in the kids' room. Nice. Okay. Uh, boo. Oh, no. I hate it when this happens. Okay, so we got to do something like this. We got to move this over one so we can get out. Get these out of here. Those are stupid. So we got to move this here. Oh, 
Uh, I guess that kind of works. Sort of. Someone told me that they installed a mod to make everything one square because of how janky designing stuff in this game was, and I think that's a brilliant idea. I really do. Uh, I'm not going to do that because I were committed at this point, but I... This was definitely the, like, there was some remaining polishing that could have been done for this. Okay, so is this stair all messed up? Yes, white, I guess that's fine. It's normal. Normal is what happens. Okay, everything up here is still the same. Let's see, destroy, where's the crazy stairs? Elegant staircase, this is gonna go. We have lots of room here. Okay, nice. We could still decorate in here with stuff, I guess. Go through here. How's my kitchen? I think the kitchen didn't get moved at all. Everything looks perfect. Okay, everything is finishing. Oh, this doorway sucks. Does this make sense from this side? Yes, but these are all goofed. Oh my gosh, we still haven't even put anything in here. There we go. Okay, and then this is our cool guy outfit. So flame in action. Okay, nice. And then we can put the dinosaur one in here, which unfortunately the helmet doesn't show up, which breaks my heart. Okay, we're back to normal. Holy moly. I knew that was going to be, that was like a, that was like a half an hour to fix this one aesthetic thing. So ridiculous. Okay, are all of my commissions done? Let's take a look. What happened here? Oh, uh, of course. Of course. Here we go. Let's go turn some stuff in. Let's go turn some stuff in with the last little bit of time we have left. Oh, and then we get a fashion show. Yes, this is going to be so epic. What do you, Pablo, you should be getting ready. Summit preparations. Thank there you. you go. Give me money. Summit preparations. Two office Thank chairs. You. Summit preparations. Thank you. She paid me $800 for pencil holders. That right there is government bloat. That is why the US military costs so much. Uh, she had something interesting hmm. to say. Morton Martle. Without either of them, none of this would have been possible. Oh, okay. Well, that's nice. Be seeing ya. Be seeing ya. Do I have any other ones to turn in? What's this right over here? Uh, a bunch of people. Are they all done? Well, these two are done. Okay, let's go turn this stuff into Owen. But, uh, well, Rocky is hauling ass right now. He's like, I gotta get to the fashion show. Howdy. Here you go. Thank you. And one more. Thank you. Um, you know what? I wanted to hear what everyone has to say. Uh, wow, so Mort and Marl's tree came back to life. That's a nice little cherry on top of all this, huh? We should have a little get togethers up there like old times. Those way, way old times. That is a really cute so idea. Long, I like that. Let's see what everyone, Hi. oh wait. We already Hi, chatted with him. Take her easy, see what me and. Hi. Hi. Hmm. Is there such a thing as fate? If Martle never found this place, it never would have been settled. If Mort had never found Martle, this place would have never been restored. It seems like both of them were tied to this place somehow. 100%. Take it easy. Oh, well, they don't dematerialize. They just pop through now. Hi, Elsie. Hey. Hmm. Sniff, sniff. So the letter just flew into his hands. It was from Martle and, and they're just, gosh dang, the saddest thing I've ever heard. Oh, she's getting all choked up. No, I Take completely understand. Okay. Pablo. Hmm? I'm a little offended they didn't call me to trim the living sculptures. I mean, giant yak mail, that's... That's what they wanted to represent all of our town and what we've been through. It seems a little on the nose, but what do I know? <laughs> kind of true, so but long, partner. I mean, we are what we are. Okay, Mr. Rocky. How you doing? Oh, I'm good. How are you? 
Hmm. Hey, you know, when we first met, I was still kind of like dealing with some anger issues. I don't know if it was obvious to you or whatever, but um, yeah, I think you straightened me out a bit. Unky, even think about getting into therapy? I'd come lie down on your couch anytime. Let me tell you about my childhood. Oh my gosh, can you imagine what this man's childhood is about? Oh, it's Fang. Hey, Fang. Those under my care now are all recovering. It is something to be pleased about. Well, that's good to hear. Fang talks to us more and more now. I really do love this. Uh, I think if I tried to give him something, he would not be happy about it. Hmm. My title of safety inspector has changed, Unky. It doesn't mean much anymore, and that's okay, because now we're safe. Almost everything I ever worried about when you came here, it's not a problem anymore. That is a huge, you later. huge thing. Hugo. Look at those eyes. Incredible. Mm. I remember when Heidi came back to Sandrock on that train from Matara. I didn't know whether to shout or whether to cry with joy. I told her not to give up on all of her opportunities. There, there to be with us. There to be back with us. It's good to be wrong sometimes, Unky. It's good to be wrong. Oh my gosh. You and me both. So sweet. Bronze plate is done. Let's say hi to Grace. Howdy. Mission accomplished, Unky. Sandrock looks beautiful. Even in my line of work, it's rare you get to say mission accomplished and actually mean it. So I definitely wanted to get it in there. So long, partner. I love it. Uh, let's clean this mess up. What's going on over here? Okay, I think that's everyone, right? Yep, I'm pretty sure that's everyone. So we're just waiting on the fashion show to start. Where is the fashion show going to be? Oh, let's say hi to Mint. I keep yawning and getting sand in my mouth, but you know, it actually tastes okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm, glad. I'm glad the sand in your mouth tastes okay. That's a little weird, but whatever. Sandrock's next top model. Let's hit track on this one. Um, I think these are done. Can we set this up right now? Oh wait, I did want to see. I guess it doesn't say where the stage is going to be, huh? Well, I'm assuming it's either like right here in front of Construction Junction City Hall or over here. Factory production pause. Does that mean everything is done? Oops, wrong one. It's great that you're keeping a good work-life balance. Thanks, babe. Hey, you want to go... Um. Uh, okay, well, if we're gonna do that, interact, uh, let's see, return, return home, let's grab, let's grab Yaki Poo, where everything began, come on. Oh, there we go, something else just got delivered, well, looks like that was Magic Mirror delivering something, nope, that happened twice now, uh, oh no, patch dispatch results, okay, cool. Okay, what is this? This is probably for... No, this is the citrus. Oh, cool. Oh, look, it's going to go right here. Here we go. Let's build this. We've done so much today. One of the... I love days like this where just everything happens all, all right, at once. Sandra, get ready to squeeze the day. <laughs> I was in a bad mood before, but I've really come around on the name. You know, it's not a terrible name. Did I say it was a terrible name before? I might have said it was a terrible name before. I don't mind it. Looks good. I can't wait to start. It doesn't matter what the name of a business is if the food is really good. You could have a business that's just called, you know, Dump Hole 3020 and people would still eat it if the food was amazing. I'll start moving things in. Should be ready to open tomorrow. Moving don't things in? <laughs> moving things into what? <laughs> Okay, Grace and I became best friends. Okay, where is this? Let's see if I I should probably read this. Go check it out in front of the city hall. Okay, we're let's go. We gotta go. Let's go, babe. Go. We're gonna be late. Oh my god, we're gonna be late. Okay. Um, is Yaki Poo gonna be all up in it? Oh, nice. Thank yes. Thank you everyone for joining us in the very first desert taked fashion show. <laughs> Before now, Sandrock was seen as a land bereft of art, a barren wasteland of desperate utility. Then, 
A young man had a dream. A vision. Now that man's vision has come to life. <laughs> breathed new life into this town. Sandrock now has become a metropolis of bohemian society. Uh, <laughs> Ryan, the music is so epic that Ryan is like break dancing over here. Although we may be situated in a dry, lifeless desert, it does not mean our fashion must be dry and lifeless. So today, we've raised the curtain on our new style, Desertique. Desertique. The Desertique fashion show will take place over two days, and today's theme will be starlight. It is inspired by the majestic stars of the desert night. And with this, the stars come to Sandrock. Welcome our wonderful models to the stage. Okay, here we go. Whoa, cool. This is freaking awesome. Oh my gosh, I haven't seen any of these. I have, a lot of these I haven't seen. Yes, oh my God. <laughs> and the point. <laughs> I'm sure he looks so good. A little stiff in the walk, but that's okay. Whoa, wait. Chi has an outfit? Did I not know this? Amazing. I hope you enjoyed our stars lighting up the stage. That was our Starlight Collection. If you wish to buy them, you can talk to me for orders. Everyone is welcome. I can assure you we will tailor for your needs. Okay. If you're interested, don't hesitate. Of course, we want to make everything according to taste. What is fashion without personality? Any changes can be requested, and we're happy to oblige. We will have a complete design document available soon. Nice. Tomorrow at 7 p.m., we will see the Summer Heat Swimwear Series. I hope you can all show your beautiful faces. You know, this will be cool to see because I didn't, I don't even think I bought this. I wasn't like, oh, I want to, wait, no, I did. Cause I do have the bathing suits. I wanted the straw hat, but then I stopped wearing it. Okay, that was really, really cool. Hold on a second. Why does he, why do we not ever see him in this outfit? It's gotta be a bug because he's always just in this one. Oh, crazy. Well, I do love this color scheme on Chi. So we're gonna go with this one. These are all really nice. I can't believe this one, this color scheme seems like so fang. Uh, we're gonna go with the gold. Okay, apply. Isn't that weird? Isn't that weird? Where is Chi? He's probably back at home. I guess we're just all going to stand around awkwardly <laughs> until people start splitting off. Okay. Well, that was uh, absolutely epic. Let's chat Whoa. with Pablo. It's like a dream come true. Ernest was right. I really just needed to put my mind to it. We're so proud of you. You did such a good hmm. job. See ya. Okay, um, let's head home. We've had quite the day today. I can't think of a more exciting and epic, thrilling, event-filled day than today. I had so much fun. My friends, thank you so much for watching until the end. Hit the like button and subscribe. Okay, so now everyone's outfits have been changed to the Starlight outfit. I'm fine with that. I'm gonna leave that exactly how it is. Should I, okay, so then, then I guess what I should do is switch Chi over here so that everyone matches. They're running around. Oh, are they gonna be running around in their bathing suits tomorrow? That's really fun. My friends, thank you so much for watching. Until the end, hit the like button and subscribe and leave a comment. It is my favorite thing in the world. Um, I appreciate you all so much. I am so excited to build this airship. It's gonna be crazy. Okay, I bid you all farewell, and I look forward to seeing you all next time.